What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your Yin Yang Truth Seeker, Donnie. Not that Donnie, but this Donnie, aka the Great Chief, coming back at you once again with another vid to help you understand, understand, and overstand thyself on topics that pertain to your spirit, soul, and body. So, with that being said, in today's video, I feel the need to talk about the celestial bodies so you can get a better idea as to what do astrologers and philosophers mean when they say, as above, so below as within so without so without further ado let's talk about it right after this intro the sun is yourself moon is your heart rising is how you look Mercury is the way you think. Mars is how you deal with life. Venus is how you love. Jupiter is your growth. Saturn is your responsibilities. Uranus is how unique you are. Neptune is your imagination. And Pluto is your transformation. And well, eight out of 10 of these planets are the ruling planets for each zodiac sign. For an example, Leo represents the sun and its aspects are self-direction, pride, confidence, joy, life force, creativity, and ego. Cancer represents the moon and its aspects are emotions, reactions, intuition, and imagination. Side note, Cancer, Leo, and Scorpio are the only signs with their own planets because they're special like that. And well, here's a fun fact for you. Scorpio represents not only Mars, but Pluto as well. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Mysterious and magnetic, Scorpio is ruled by two planets, Pluto and Mars, while Pluto rules over secrets the subconscious, transformation, death, and rebirth. Mars rules over desires and carnal instincts. But let's not forget the fact that Scorpio shares Mars with Aries, and the aspects of that planet is energy, anger, drive, passion, sex, and free will. And right after that, we have Sagittarius and Pisces, which represents Jupiter. And its aspects are abundance, generosity, wisdom, growth, and good luck. And right after that, we have Virgo and Gemini, which represents Mercury. And its aspects are communication, magic, reasoning, intellect, and processing of information. And here's another fun fact for you. My Mercury is actually in Gemini. So I suppose you could say I've been thinking accordingly my whole life. Wink, wink. Anyways, as if that wasn't corny, Taurus and Libra represents Venus. And its aspects are love, beauty, relationships, attraction, pleasure, and money. And lastly but not least, we have Capricorn and Aquarius, which represents Saturn and its aspects are endings, fear, challenges, limitations, and self control. And well, these zodiac signs also play out as our body parts and organs as well. Therefore, I shall give you a quick rundown of the signs and the body parts that they represent. After all, this video is titled the celestial bodies so let's break this body down shall we starting with aries which symbolize your head face brain and eyes taurus symbolize your throat neck and vocal cords gemini symbolize your arms lungs hands and shoulders. Cancer symbolize your chest, breast, and stomach. Leo 
symbolize your heart, spine, and spinal cord, as well as your upper back. Virgo symbolize your digestive system and spleen. Libra symbolize your kidneys, skin, lower back, and buttocks. Scorpio symbolize your reproductive system, sexual organs, genitals, nose, and blood. Sagittarius symbolize your hips, thighs, and the liver. Capricorn symbolize your knees, joints, skeleton system, and the teeth. Aquarius symbolize your calves, ankles, and your sheens. And Pisces symbolize your feet and toes. And now hopefully you have an idea as to what do astrologers mean when they say as above, so below, because what you are to experience in the new realm is all the beauty, peace, abundance you have imagined and more. This is only the beginning of your journey towards higher consciousness and expansion, for you are to one day serve as sons in the greater cosmos. And with that being said, this Donnie, signing out.